Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to give you my review on the Resistance DLC for Call of Duty World War II. I've played about a total of five hours tonight, and I honestly did lose track of all the games I played total, but I did play a lot. And I have some really decent games. Other games were kind of bad because I kept on getting uh, frame rate lag for some reason. I'm not sure why if that was across all players or maybe it was just my connection. But I did feel a little bit of frame dropping when I played. And also about the gameplay really quick. I'm playing with a couple of bigger YouTubers and Twitch streamers. On my team I was playing with Wings of Redemption. He's a really old school COD YouTuber. One of the founding fathers of COD on YouTube. And it was a really big honor to play with him. And then on the other team we just happened to... To randomly get paired up with Optic Sprat and Face Kitty and a few other really good snipers. I had a lot of fun playing with them and it's just really crazy to see some of these players play like they are insanely accurate with their shots. It's crazy. And just seeing them make their decisions in game is really cool to me honestly. If you ever play with a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer look at how they uh, make their decisions in the game. Look at how you know they uh, move around the map. Look at how they position themselves. It's pretty cool honestly. Uh, but yeah I had a pretty good time playing but the snipers were getting a little bit frustrating to deal with honestly you're gonna see in the gameplay that we kept on getting murked by the snipers and I'm not sure if they should get another nerf or not I mean I still think they are insanely good but I don't know if they do deserve another nerf or not I don't think they should be like made useless in the game but maybe just another slight nerf to the ADS but uh, I don't know tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments we could have just been it could have just been because we were playing with some optic and phase members like there it was crazy how accurate these guys are with their shots uh, but yeah for right now I want to talk about the resistance DLC map pack so uh, if you think about it we actually got a total of two new maps because uh, we had resistance already in infinite warfare it, it was called ember and then of course we had resistance in mw3 so this is a third time we've actually played on this map it's not a bad map honestly but I really just want new content I'm tired of seeing Seeing the same maps getting remastered, redid in DLC. Like, I want brand new content for Call of Duty. I'm tired of remastered stuff every single year. Uh, but yeah, that's just my take on Resistance. Again, it's a pretty fun map. The other two maps, Valkyrie is really, really fun. Anthroport is okay. That's probably the worst DLC map in my opinion because the snipers are just so dominant in that map uh, because they can literally snipe you from across the map and there's nothing you really can do about it if you're using an AR or a sub uh, unless you probably head glitch or counter snipe against them. But that map is really, really sniper friendly. The next map, Valkyrie, is probably my favorite out of all the other maps because it's really really friendly to players who like to rush and use subs and ARs. There's also some good power positions on that map too but in general it's just a really well balanced map and uh, so yeah again that those are my thoughts about the three multiplayer maps. Again I, I am kind of sick and tired of seeing the same maps getting remastered over and over again. I want new content but I mean hey that's just my opinion and then for the war map it's pretty dang fun honestly but I didn't get to play it too too much i think i played a total of about two or three games uh so i can't really give a good review on the war map but when i played i had a pretty fun time i thought it was pretty fun and uh, that's my take on it zombies i didn't really get to play it that much i only played one game for like five minutes and then i went down i'm not that good of a zombies player but i still thought it was pretty fun so in general i think if you are kind of bored of the stock maps in the game then you should definitely look into getting this dlc because uh you know you can just have some fresh content some uh three new maps i guess if you want to say i mean technically two because like i said my whole spiel on the resistance map but uh, if you want to have new maps, then go ahead and get the DLC. They're okay, but uh, they're not the best d maps that I've ever seen in, in a Call of Duty game. Uh, so yeah, that's just my take on it, guys. If you want to buy it, go ahead. If you don't want to, then, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you are bored with playing multiplayer a little bit, then uh, this DLC will definitely uh, kind of bring you out of that boredom for a few weeks, probably. Uh, but the thing about DLC, it's really, really important that Sledgehammer gets this right, because DLC is going to dictate how the rest of this game is going to go for the next couple of months we have until the next COD game releases, whatever Treyarch is planning to do. Because DLC is going to keep players coming back, fresh content is going to keep players coming back. 
and Sledgehammer needs to get that right. I have faith in them. They've already made some pretty good changes, I'd say. And uh, the first DLC does seem like a big success, honestly, to me. But uh, hey, this is just my day one review of it. And I really can't wait to see what else they have in store for us. Now, guys, over on Reddit, Kondrid made a post saying, Grease up those flat guns. So I'm pretty sure the flat gun event for the headquarters is going to be coming very soon. If not today, definitely sometime in the next couple of weeks here. If you guys don't know about the flat gun event I made a video talking about it and I also showed off some really cool images from the event and if you want to go check that out there's gonna be a link down below in the bottom of this video but yeah guys tell me your thoughts about the DLC one in the comments also drop a like if you enjoyed and thanks for watching till next time I'll see you later